let us understand how we can calculate the number of ways of arranging objects. Okay? So, let us do that with an example. Suppose we have the letters of a word. So, let us say that we have the word, let us say post. Okay? And let us say we want to arrange the letters of these words in any order to make new words. So, the new words can have meaning or need not have meaning. Right? So, for example, you can have a word like SOTP, which is not a word at all, right? but which is made from the letters of this word. So, this is what I mean by arrangements of objects. The objects are the letters of the word and we can arrange them in any order. And if we are allowed that, how many possible arrangements are there? That is the question. Right? Now, we have four letters. Okay? Now, let us let us say that these are four dashes. Okay? Now, in the first dash, how many possible letters can I fill? Well, there are four letters because I can fill it with either P or O or S or T. Now, but somebody will ask, just like for the, the third dash can also have four possible letters, right? Because the third dash can also have four or P or O or S or T, same with the second dash, same with the fourth dash. But, but there is something that is problematic. The question to ask is, are the letters or the objects allowed to repeat? So, the first thing we have to say is no repetition. That means, if we put a P here, we should not put a P here because this has only one P, one O, one S and one T. Okay? So, if that is the condition, then let us see how many ways will we get. First dash, there are four ways. Now, how many ways can I fill the second dash? Well, suppose I put P here, then P is not allowed for the second dash. Okay? So, what we would say is, there are three ways of filling the second dash. Okay? But is this true? If I put P, there are three ways. What if I put O? Okay, first thing I should have put this. There are four ways of filling the first dash. Right? Okay, instead of P, suppose I put O. So, four dashes and I put O. The beauty is, even now this statement holds good. Because if I put O here, there are three ways of filling the second dash, which is that can be P, S or T. If I put P here, can be O, S or T. So, the important thing to understand is that, while the first dash I have four ways of filling, the second dash I have only three ways because there is no repetition allowed. Okay? Now, if I have filled the first to two dashes, how many ways do I have for the third dash? Well, because two letters are already used, one would say there are two ways of filling the third dash and by this logic, there is only one way of filling the fourth dash. Okay? And by the fundamental principle of counting, the number of ways of filling all the four dashes is four. So, the number of ways of filling all four dashes is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 4 factorial, which is 24. And the reason I can apply this idea is, 
initially I showed you for every possible way of filling the first dash, whether it's P or O or S or T, there are three ways of filling the second dash. For every possible combination of first and second dash, for example, let's say you have filled the first test with O and the second with S. Now there are two ways of filling the third dash. So this statement is always true independent of what you have actually filled in the first and second dashes. If that is the case, then you can apply fundamental principle of counting and that's why we were able to do this. Okay, and we get the answer as 4 factorial. Now, if instead of 4 letters, if you had n objects to be arranged, the number of ways is n factorial. Okay, because it is 4, we got 4 factorial. If it was 7, we would have got 7 into 6 into 5, etc. And if it is n, it would be n factorial. But here, I want you to understand a couple of misconceptions that people might have, okay, in this particular concept. So, let me explain a little more. Okay, this is, so far, this is standard idea of n factorial. It's a number of ways of arranging. But, you would have a nagging doubt. Is this really independent? Okay, because fundamental principle of counting, does it really apply? Because if I put P here, and then O here, then what I have here is limited. It depends on what I have put here. See, if you take other examples, typically if we take examples where the things are independent, suppose you have three letters and four digits, then for every letter you have four digits. So you can say three into four is the way of combining letter and digit. But here you are not looking at different types of entities. It's the same four letters. Okay, So this is one cause of misconception which is that because you put P and O here, you can't put P and O here. right? So it looks like it's dependent. right? If I put O and S, I can only put P and T. But if I put P and S, I can put only O and T. So it looks like my third dash, right? the third dash it is dependent on the first to two. So the question is then, how can you apply fundamental principle? right? And here is the important idea, which is that, yes, what letters you can put here depends on what you have put in the first two dashes. But the reason you can still apply fundamental principle is that the number of such letters, the number is two, that number this is two ways of filling the third dash. This number does not change irrespective of what you put here. Whether you put P and T or O and S or O and P, you still have two ways of filling the third dash and that's what is important. In fundamental principle says, as long as that M and N and W, the number doesn't change. This, if it doesn't change, for the second, third and fourth dashes, you can still apply the fundamental principle. So, it's a little tricky, which is why I'm explaining it in detail again. Because at one level, it looks very easy. Four objects, four factorial. But the real reason you can apply the fundamental principle is because of this idea that the number alone is invariant. The actual objects are changing, but the number doesn't change. That's why you can do this and you have n objects can be arranged in n factorial ways.